care for a fish or two, stranger. Today's catch ripped straight from the hands of the soldy winch. You'll find no fresher. Have a look. Will do. Welcome! Venturing out past the city. You'll want supplies. Crab traps or the like for a larger game, I warrant. Of course. Take your time. Dora must think I work for free. Will do. Be within just a. <sighs> Almost had it. Damn your eyes. Yeah. Came in on the sloop? I can hammer your ship together if you're apt to pay me for it. Aye. Captain Radora hasn't paid me for her commissioned firepower. While I'm up to my nose in debt, the wild mare gobbles up her coin. And now, pirates are holding my feet to the fire over some sham of a deal. If I don't get Redora's payment, I might as well start carving my swallownet. One where I mend Principy ships and no others. And here I'd have thought a shipwright would be eager for an exclusive contract. In particular, one with clients disposed towards getting their ships shot to shit and shot again. Folk like that come by coin easy, only to lose it all again. I'm not sinking my business on the say-so of a pack of puffed-up bilge rats. Bastards are driving away business until I give in. You do that? A fair price goes without saying, Cully. It all comes down to blasted pans and pyres in the end, doesn't it? Oh, come take a look. Will do. Well met, stranger. If you feel like investing in protection, I'd be willing to trade iron for copper. I assure you that everything I sell is well crafted. But I will admit I'm not quite the weaponsmith that Marihi is, nor do I possess Uto's expertise with firearms. Marihi, you can find in Periki's Overlook. The district to the north. Udo has a shop in the Brass Citadel, in the eastern part of Nekitaka. Lots to see. Take your time. So she asked him what you the one causing trouble in Cotter's neighborhood.
I thought Remaro's pup kept better company. Ahoy, friend. So you still be doing that old referring yourself by name thing? Would have thought it have cost you enough lays by now to be dropping that affectation. Cotter has not missed the sound of your voice, Seraphin. Your smoke and mirror ghosts do not impress Kalezia, and they do not scare Cotter. Sorry, Valian names all sound the same to me. Which one is the pretty wolf? You'll know soon enough. Zamar has money problems. Kata has solutions. The little man doesn't know how to count his coins. Kata heard a newcomer was talking with Zamar. Wrong play, Kata. Let's be keeping this a friendly as a friendly fucking chats. Lest the captain be calling your raise. Look, Celezia. Your supper comes with blue fur. Tell the shipwright to accept Cotter's deal before he suffers another setback. Zamar can keep Principi ships afloat. Cotter tires of seeing his family sailing derelict wrecks. Cotter will see that his casita knows your name. There's also coin to spare. And Kota will get you the Principi discount on Zamar's goods. Deal? Gelarde, here's an advance. Go tell Zamar the good news. Kota will handle the rest. Ahoy there. Any news worth telling? You actually confronted those feral cats? Cool. Cats be sacred shipboard, you know. Wouldn't have taken you for one to be painting a principe all godly. Folk shoreside sometimes stick them in the stew pot. See if that strikes you for something weighty. I needed coin, not a middleman to negotiate with cutthroats. That doesn't make it right. I won't be held down by schemers and killers. If it's between my life and my dignity... The Principi have their shipwright. And may Andra take them for it. Cotter recognizes a friend. Fair payment for a smooth transition. Cotter's just making sure no one bothers our friend. This idiot's wolf has already peed on my good leg. What an Abidon stinking furnace do you want? 